Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're taking a look at another small dinosaur that the media have referred to as the fanged vampire parrot, but better known to us as the Pecomastex. This small dinosaur lived during the early Jurassic period around 200 million years ago in what is now South Africa. It was first discovered during an expedition in 1966, but did not get any attention until 1983 when paleontologist Paul Serino came across the fossils while he was a student at Harvard University. He knew there was something unusual about them and suspected it was a new species but due to other work commitments, wasn't able to study the remains for another 30 years. Those other commitments included work on, among others, the Sarcosuchus and the Caprosuchus, which I've already covered in this series. When details of Pegamastix were released, headlines of Dracula Dinosaur and Fanged Vampire Parrot were popular. This was because of the unusual feature of enlarged fang-like teeth. This is a common trait found in Heterodontosaurus dinosaurs. This group of dinosaurs were some of the earliest dinosaurs, and that lineage would go on to include dinosaurs such as the Ankylosaurs, the Stegosaurs, Hadrosaurs, and frilled ceratopsians such as Triceratops. Despite having fangs, something more associated with carnivores, Pegomastix was more likely a herbivore. Although it may have included insects in its diet, its parrot-like beak indicates they would have eaten fruit, seeds and nuts. The large fangs were likely used in a similar way to the modern fanged deers for digging up roots and tubers, as well as for biting at rivals and for defending itself against predators. Pegomastix was a small dinosaur measuring no more than 60 centimeters long, most of its length taken up by its long tail. It would have weighed no more than the modern house cat at around 15 pounds, that's about 6.8 kilos, at most. Its skull was less than 2 inches long, and those fangs were about half an inch long. The body of the Pegomastix was covered in porcupine-like bristles. Paul Serino says the bristles weren't as strong as those of a porcupine, and they weren't particularly good for insulation. Perhaps they had colours that helped differentiate species, or made Pegomastix look bigger than it actually was to potential predators. It would have looked like a nimble, two-legged porcupine. Although these were early, primitive dinosaurs, the Pegomastix and its relatives were some of the most advanced plant eaters of their day. Well, that's all for this week. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Please subscribe and consider sharing the video with anyone you think might enjoy it. Please join me next week for a look at another fascinating creature here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.